Hi, um, today we are going to talk about the seal of balliteracy. And um, first we're going to review our norms for um, our PD, what we usually are doing. Be committed, be responsible, be respectful and be safe. Um, we're everything that we're doing in Canyons and everything that we're doing in those um, uh, bite-sized PD also um, reflect the, the framework that we use in Canyon School District. So our learning intention for today will be, I'm learning about the seal of balliteracy and the requirement for students to receive the seal of balliteracy. The success criteria will be, I know I've learned it when I can support students during their application process. And when I can access the seal of balliteracy website to check the status of the students in my school. So what is the seal of balliteracy? So this is what we're gonna go through um, to, uh, through today's uh, presentation. So what is the seal of balliteracy? Who can apply for the seal? How do students apply for the seal? How do they how they demonstrate the requirements that they need for the seal? When will the seal of balliteracy test be administered? Who takes which test? How we report the scores? and where um, students and uh, parents and uh, diploma specialists can find more information about the seal of balliteracy. So <clears throat> first of all, what is the seal of balliteracy? The seal of balliteracy is available to all students who are proficient in English and in one or more languages. They must demonstrate their proficiency in both English through, uh, for example, an ACT score of 18 or better or other means of um, demonstrating the proficiency in English and a world language. And for the world language, they needed to be able to reach an intermediate mid on, their, on the test that they're gonna take, on the computer test that they take or through the district test that they're gonna take. And this is also applicable to the American Sign Language. Um, once the students have all their requirement, then an electronic seal of balliteracy is placed on the student's transcript, so it becomes automatic, and students will receive a seal of balliteracy certificate at graduation. So the seal of balliteracy basically celebrate bilinguism, bilingualism, and balliteracy. It honors the skills that our students have attained. And they are evidence of our future employers and college admission office. And the students have the seal information included in this transcript as well as their resume. So when they, um, that's why it's, it's important that the students apply as a junior. So if they have already all the requirement and they meet the requirement, then they can already put that on their resume for um, college graduation. So once um, they have received, once they have met the, the English and the language requirement, and once the tests are in, we are reviewing all the application at the district level. And if the students qualify for the seal, then they will receive an automated email informing them that they will receive the seal of balliteracy at graduation, which is a diploma. And they're gonna receive that seal of certificate diploma along with their high school diploma at graduation, if they qualify. And also a seal will be um, um, on their transcript. So just for you to know, this is what their certificate of achievement for the seal of balliteracy uh, is gonna look like. And this is what the seal of balliteracy looks like on the student's transcript. So you have the symbol of balliteracy, the transcript, and you have the language in which they have received the, um, the seal of balliteracy. It is, and it is not unusual for students to have more than one seal of balliteracy. Some students have taken two um, 
have proven the, their proficiency in two different languages. So yes, it is possible to have a seal of literacy in multi languages. You still need to have English and another language. Um, through the counseling office, um, we um, the communication departments and also um, this flyer and students can use their QR code or their phone through the QR code to go directly to the application. And we have it in English and in Spanish. So um, as a, a diploma specialist in the counseling center, you are welcome also to go and put that in the counseling office and to just, if students would like to apply right away, they just need their phone and they can just do the application right there with you. So this is also available with all the instruction in different languages. Who can apply for the seal of biliteracy? Only juniors and seniors can apply for the seal of biliteracy. And uh, it, it, um, it, they can come, the students can be from a world language class, from the immersion classes, from the bridge classes, or they can be heritage speakers. And the language that they test in, which is important, doesn't need to be a language that is being taught at the school at all. So if, for example, in, in the school um, where they are, they have, uh, um, in general, they have uh, um, Spanish, French, um, Chinese, perhaps German, American Sign Language, they, if, if, what, if they speak, for example, Japanese, and they would like to test in uh, the seal of literacy in Japanese, Japanese, then Samoan, or it could be Russian. So the language, the language that they test in is not for um for the students who would like to apply so you have the website right here in front of you but again if it's easier for the students to use the qr code to access the application through the qr code then um, it will be a good way to do it this way or through the um, the the website itself and on the website you have a lot of information so this is what the uh, website look like for kenyan um, when the window will be open uh, in order to for the application to start working, then it will be yeah. they're just gonna have to click that they would like to answer uh, to complete the application. Um, the diploma specialist will also be given an instruction sheet to help students complete the um, seal of application. So you have a step-by-step -step instruction on uh, how to use um, the, uh, the online application. Basically, as soon as the students log in, as soon as the students click on um, to complete the application, then the first thing that the, the form is asking them is to uh, enter their ID number. And as soon as they enter the ID number, the system just uh, update all the information on the students in the form itself. So they just have to complete the information for the language and for English. So for the English requirement, they again, they do need to demonstrate the English requirement that they meet the English requirement. Um, as of last year, they can use the Utah Aspire Plus they can also add uh, use their ACT. They can use their WIDA score. And please note that the WIDA score um, is now accepted at a 4.2 composite score. And uh, they can still use the AP English or the Apple test if they would like to um, use um, or take an Apple test. But note that the WIDA score is a new as of last year. And the Aspire Plus 9th and 10th grade is also new as of last year. So those are the two new added um, proficiency requirements for English that the students can use to show their proficiency in English. When it comes to the language, they're going to have to, um, on the requirement number two on the form, they're going to have to click on what language do they need. And according to what language they need, then they're going to have a different kind of um, options to choose uh, from. For example, for Spanish, 
they can use their AP um, Spanish language score. They can use an IB um, Spanish ab initio of five if um, they are at Hillcrest or an IBSL, then it has to be a four at least. If they chose an IBHL, then the score has to be at least a three. And for the Apple in Spanish, then they needed to score an I2 on at least three of the four components of the test. So again, students are going to have to prove their proficiency in English through any of those means, or they can um, end, not or, but end, they need also to show proficiency in the language. And the choice that they can have, again, depends on the language that they uh, would like to test out. Um, so, for example, for um, that's another example that you have. So the previous example was for um, Spanish. You have another example right here for Chinese. Uh, Chinese can also use the AP Chinese test or the, um, and if you pass with a three, four or five, the Abinicio, the IB Abinicio has to be at least a five. The IBSL has to be a four. The IB HL has to be a three, or if they again choose the Apple test, it has to be an I2 score on three of the four component of the test. And you have the component right here. They have to do speaking, listening, reading, or writing. So how do students apply? So like we said, once the students uh, once the students begin the application process, they have the option to work with a diploma specialist or all independently to complete um, their online application. It really will take them at the top five or 10 minutes, perhaps more five than 10. On the application form, a window will open and ask students to enter their student ID number students must enter the test they plan to take for both English proficiency requirement and the language proficiency requirement. So there's two sections that they need to choose for the English or and for the language requirement. Um, students, please make sure that students sign the form because most of the problem that we encounter when we have to uh, go through all the application is students did not sign their form. So we needed, they needed to sign the form at the bottom of the page. And finally, please remind your students to push submit. So sign and push submit will guarantee that the application comes to us. And uh, so for the seal of literacy, we administer the test, the Apple test, all the languages that are tested with Apple will begin, uh, will be tested during the beginning to mid-March. Um, and those languages are um, French, Spanish, Japanese, Portuguese, um, there's 10 of them on the Apple website. If, if the language is one of those non-Apple tested languages, then we will contact the diploma specialist and the diploma specialist will contact the students. And finally, for the American Sign Language, we will do exactly the same. Uh, for the American Sign Language, we will contact the diploma specialist at the school and the diploma specialist will contact the students. So, and all that will be done should be finished by uh, the end of March. All the testing should be finished by the end of March so we can enter all the score into the student's application. And then we can uh, create the list of the students who have um, who are qualified to receive the seal of literacy. As a reminder, the, the district only pays for one Apple test per year. That's why it's really important to make sure that the students apply during their junior year. So if they needed to take one Apple test, for example, in, in English as a junior, then as a senior, they can test in the language in Spanish or French or Chinese. So make sure that it's important that they that they see that by starting the application earlier, then they have a lot more chance to be able to um, to test to use some different kind of testing. 
Um, so the diploma is the, it is at the school itself that the students will test. The diploma specialist is the one who is going uh, who is going to organize the testing. And uh, the diploma specialist is also the one who is going to contact students to let them know the date and the time and the location of the testing. Again, juniors should plan to start testing their junior years in order to have more chance. And, and also, if they already qualify, then they can or it can um, the seal of literacy can already be on their transcript and they can use it on their application for um, college application. Um, Cindy Perry will be the one sending the students login and any testing information as it relates to Apple. Um, so the Apple tested in language, so they vary by years. So here we have Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. Um, and again, it varies by year. So some uh, some years we have Hindi, some years we don't have it. So we, every year we need to double check what language is tested. Um, if the student is testing with the Apple test, then they're going to use the form B and they're going to um, do all three modes of communication. They're going to do the interpersonal listening, speaking, the reading and the writing. So it's about 30 minutes each. And the, just as a reminder, the Apple test that some students may take during their um, may have taken during their world language language classes is not the the correct Apple test to take for the seal of literacy. For the act uh, for the the website for Apple to know more about the um, Apple test, so you have the website and under assessment you can find everything you need for the um, act for. Apple test and there is even a demo that if you, the students click on it, they can choose their language, they choose form B, and then they can practice the test. The topic is also um, one that the students can look at so they can um, see what kind of topic can be asked. And they have also on that same website some tip on how to um, do the test. The non-Apple tested languages, um, include all the languages that are not tested through Apple or ASL. And uh, we will provide, they will be provided through Canyon School District State and Federal Program. Students will be given a choice for if they test on the, on the non-Apple test to be, to, uh, they are given a choice for the, for the writing prompts. And they have about 45 minutes to write and then present their topic. So this one is for students who are testing not with the Apple test. For the American Sign Language, once the students have been identified, then the test will be ordered. It will be mostly an in-person testing at the school site, and the testing may take place at different time than the other tested um, languages for the seal of literacy. Again, the diploma specialist will be the one contacting the students. Um, a, good, uh, a good way to support your students testing for the seal Advertise and help your students at your school. Uh, you can help them complete the form before school, during lunch, after school. It's really up to you what if it's the best for your um for your schedule. This is what the students see when they um have to log in. So just um no, this is what the the seal of literacy specialist um will see when they have to log in. Just put your username, diploma specialist, and your usual password that you use for your email. Then you can access your um the students at your school. So you can view. This is for a diploma specialist. You can view and monitor your students' application progress. Log in with the same credential that you use for your email. Choose the school and the language from the drop-down menu, and you can see the status of the students. Um, you can create some students' per permission slip in order to keep track and to hand them to students so like that. Also, they can. It will also uh, help them to be um, as a ticket to be excused from class for testing. So that's a good idea. To do here an example of a ticket that um, has been used in the past, in the past, and uh, if you need more information on the seal of literacy, so you have the Canyon website. There is also an information site on the USBE website, so you can also find some more information on it. And um, that is it for our time.
Thank you.